you got to get a life. You got to do what you you got you got to you have to realize that that's not going to be your overall emphasis in in, in living. <laughs> Yes, there are people who will paint their faces red and white, you know, and the, and the colors of a team take their shirt off. I think, like, they're kind of crazy. I mean, I would never get a tattoo of, like, my favorite team's name on my body. It's a lifestyle for some people. Well, some people can't take it like anything else. It's, you know, things should be done in moderation here. You can't hang your hat on or, or, you know, have your life revolve around, you know, whether the Giants win or not on Sunday, okay? But, okay, again, but it is a distraction, you know, from everyday life of pressures and stresses that we have and so on, so. Gen gentleman in my gym has a tattoo of the Yankees on his, uh, on his um, calf. And he, you can see he's obviously a fanatic. But that's over the top, over the top. Well, I'm not over the top. I, w I will say one thing, though. To some people, sports ranks probably among their, their one or two most important things in their life. Forget about their okay. children. Forget about their job. Opening day, I'm taking the day off. I got to go there. I have students who cut out of classes on that day. People who love to play basketball to make a $10 million deal a year, people who love to play baseball, I don't think anybody's worth that. It's the experience that's what it's all about. It's being with a family, being with friends. That, to me, is what sports is about. It's the intangible of remembering what you do. It's not getting drunk. It's not going wild, it's not having fights in the stands, but it's having a good personal experience.